I'm just walking into the field to check on the ladies and their grass. They think I'm going to feed them something. I'm not coming to feed you anything. I'm coming to check on your grazing status. I'm going to let the horses in here. The horses are right there. But in a few days, I'm going to move the ladies. Move. Yeah, you're going to move in a few days. There's still loads of eating here. Are you worried? Are you worried? Do you want to be picked up? You want to be picked up? Oh, you fat little tub of lard, aren't you? So, the horses, when they come in here, are going to eat a lot of the thistles. Thistles are like buttercups, calcium and nitrogen accumulators. So the horses will poop out calcium rich manure and nitrogen rich manure. So they're going to be put brought in here to eat the thistles back. They're probably already looking forward to it. And then that area where they've been grazing will be left to rest and that lower part the sheep will be able to eat. So the way I manage the land is constantly adjusting the eating patterns. Isn't that right, girls? These are two of last year's yo lambs. They'll be seeing the ram this year and having babies of their own. This hill is so steep, it's easy for a dog to sit on, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So there's a few more days of sheep eating in here, definitely. And it's getting close to winter. So I don't want to, and look at the biodiversity. There's red clover and yarrow. There's all kinds of things here. Buttercups, ow, <laughs> you yawning and chewing my finger. Anyway, autumn is on the way. So my rotation, this last winter, as you can see the remnants of the hay bale there, the sheep grazed this through the winter. They are not having it this winter. The horses are going to graze it down and then it, it will be left for a number of months. So no grazing. Look at all the yarrow blooming in here. This is one of the elements that makes it so that my sheep didn't have worms this year when the vet came to do the parasitical worm test because it has tannins in it and the sheep graze it and the horses graze it. They self-medicate. Isn't that right, ladies? Yeah, everybody's looking good. I haven't walked the whole field, but uh, I, I will again later. I just have to, just wanted to check what was happening. Look at all the nettles under there. This is why we've had such an abundant year of butterflies is because I've been cultivating this nettle patch for a number of years. And it's in a very lovely protected spot. Loads of butterflies lay their eggs in there and the larvae eat the nettles. So you can see here, you can see where the nettles are kind of dying back. That's because there were loads of caterpillars in there munching away so a very here's another section that's due to caterpillars all that kind of where you see deadness in nettles this time of year is where there were loads of caterpillars look at that and even snails even snails eat the nettles so the biology or the ecology takes care of itself as long as you give it a chance. Anyway. Oh, you're chilly. It's scary, all these big sheep. Look at the oak leaf. Isn't that gorgeous? The oak leaf 
in your fleece. You beautiful girl. Yeah, soon I'm going to fence off the woods and put the sheep in the woods to graze uh, the understory of the woods. Hello, girl. How are you? So they will graze back a lot of the ivy and things like that, which contributes to the, the return of next year's understory in the spring. Isn't that right? Look at you. You've lost all your ear tags. Luckily, I know who you are. Hello, you. Oh, bear. You are just not a sheepdog. Everybody's doing well. Looking well. Even though I didn't get any shearing done. They have their mineral lick. Hey, Crystal. How are you, Crystal? You good girl, Crystal. Yes. You good girl. Yeah. Okay, off to do another job after checking on all these yos. Good girls. Oh, God. I just got bollocksed by you, didn't I? A little bit. That's, you know, what you always do. Just when I'm not expecting it, you run into me. You're going to follow me across that ditch. <laughs> Look at that. I do love the contrast of the beautiful autumnal oak leaves against the fleeces of the sheep. Okay. Yeah, we got to get out. Now, do you want to get out? Get out. Come on. Up. Get out. The dog. No, wait. I'm coming out too. No, you're stuck there. You're not coming in. You're not coming out. See you later, girls. Yeah. Adios. Beautiful ladybug. She's going to be looking for somewhere to hibernate soon. She's in this grassy area and her red stands out. The trees are all going to begin to turn. The holly is going to start going red. Here it is. The berries are still green. Oh, there's a dead berry. And the rose hips are lovely and red. It's lovely when holly is beginning to turn. It gives this kind of look that this tree is dying because of, I'm going to walk carefully down this, because the berries go a kind of yellow before they go red. You can see this is beginning to go red. But they give this perception. Now, they do have leaves that are dying, but that's because they're cycling there. You can see it's glossy and yellow, uh, green down here. But it's kind of interesting how they kind of go a sickly yellow before they go red. These crab apples, they're going to be going ripe soon. And that rowan has some berries in it. It's all busy converting food for the wildlife now and re their own seeds and propagating themselves. Look at that. There's one, two different dandelions, three different dandelions. These are vetches, 
grasses. Who's that? That's another vetch. These are oxide daisies there. So a very busy time. That's cow parsley, cow parsley and oxide daisies. Biodiversity, clover, more yarrow. Everywhere is biodiversity. That's the intent. And my lovely cherry trees. Across Robin. There must be a cat somewhere nearby. <laughs>